<laughs> Coach Nimri predicts Ghana to lose against Mali in Babako in June. Put it, I'm telling you right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back again to the Marlon Go podcast. Another episode. We are back again. Uh, and yet again, we saw your comments. Oh, like over what? <laughs> the last time I checked, we were over like almost 70 comments um, from the last episode. Lots of people. A lot of you were asking for Coach Christopher Nibley. So today he's here, Coach. No, we'll come back to in the fact, show. I apologize sincerely for yeah, not No, being no, around. it's okay. We understand. It you were just saying important things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean you don't understand? But we don't understand. Yeah, yeah. understand. Daniel. Yeah. 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 You are happy, pal. At this time, Aklo is here. What sort of so behavior is this? Oh, wait, wait. I wait. said you are happy. Sit your heavy. Oh, correct. I did for you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are back again. Thank you for all the comments, all the likes, all the subscriptions. Please subscribe to the channel and put the notification button on. Uh, we've got important conversations to be had. Lots of you were not happy. But, uh, I, I choose with... here. Yes, I choose there. But did you say I choose? Oh, yeah. I, I, I introduced him. Why are you there. shy? He's the only unmarried he... man in, in the. That's so why I say you've been happy of late. That's what he you've been happy of late. <laughs> that is what he killed. You've been happy of late. <laughs> Oh my brother! The man, no, the man, the man, the man, the man, the man is fast. The man is fast. He's been happy. 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 he <laughs> to add those backsides. Yeah, I like it. It's very nice. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, we have quite a number of things to discuss today. The first thing that we will discuss today on the show would be this. Okay, within the week, Asamoah former Black Stars captain, Africa's highest goal scorer at the FIFA World Cup. Okay, he granted an interview where he said that, in his opinion. He thinks Otto Addo should build the new Black Stars team around Mohamed Kudus. Because in his words, he is the only Ghanaian player doing well in Europe. That's what Jan says. Of course, among other things, of course, he also asks for patience for Otto Addo. He says, Otto, he thinks Otto will come good. Let's, uh, let's be patient for him. Something that we've preached in previous episodes. Of this podcast. Who preached in previous episode? Me. Be now careful. It is no, say you. Say, no, I didn't say you. No, I didn't say you. Why is there something, something we I preach? Said as we. If, Even if it is true, that's true. Don't plural. include me. Say we minus say me. You. Say we minus coach. Okay. Something that we minus coach uh -huh. now have good preached day. on this podcast. <laughs> so you don't think Otto should have time? Ah. He doesn't deserve the job. He cannot do the job and he will fail. And we are but here. he has gotten the job. And didn't you see how it started? Didn't you see? But how did it start? Huh? You missed your chance to talk about how Look, it started. Let me tell you something. We've gone past it. Let Charlie finish Which, your intro. We've gone past it. You should have been here when we were discussing. Yes, you said you you, so you, 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 you. <laughs> <laughs> You, you see that? Let's you see the effect to, of the laugh of money. You see, you, sure. you won't chase him on. You won't him on now. Yeah, uh, let's to stick to the days. You are agenda. saying that from the two games, you you learned nothing. That's ah. what he's saying. You, you see, finish your thing. Those of you we who are not picked ah. a 10 minute session where the players were playing, pa, 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 pa. With them, then, they sped up the video. A shock. <laughs> who were those people? <laughs> Look, some of us, we are not blind. Though. We are tactically inclined. We can read in between the lines. Who are those people? They should stop that. It was an edited video. But you, we all saw it was an edited video. <laughs> Didn't you see that? You are a very highly uh, 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 technologically inclined. <laughs> what? The will kill me. This man, Jerome Opoku. What's wrong with him? Don't sit here and denigrate individual players. What's wrong with Jerome? Wait, wait, wait. He's wait, not wait. a good player. He's How? terribly he slow. Plays? Hold on, hold on. He no. can't run. Oh, come, come on. What are you so talking you are about? saying that the scouts that signed him in Turkey, they are all blind. Then every scout that signs every player anywhere is good. Every player but in the world playing. is good. But he's playing. It's not like he's sitting on the bench. Oh. He's playing. He's playing for which team? In the Turkish top division. That doesn't make him good enough for that position. We also see you also, you also he's said he's 20 times better. Tell me what I'm saying is not true. Bring yourself now and let's talk about this. Yeah, but Bumitu will get his chance. But through whom? 
I don't want you to call him. I beg your pardon. Mumuni, he's Every, 20 times better. He will than get this. his chance. When he gets his chance, you should put What even, is uh, uh, even Razak? You, that, even that you are 100 times better than McTominay. Oh. The one who could, the, the, those team. people who can pass the ball forward. What are they doing in the midfield? We should forget about Who are those who can pass the ball forward? Huh? Salis and his counterpart. He's who plays in the Champions League. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't give a damn about that statement. What are you talking you don't about? Give a damn about that statement. <laughs> He plays the, and so what? Oh. Uh, and so he must be good enough. So maybe if he's see, not good enough. How is he playing the Champions League? The, the, the structure at his club side allows him to pass the ball square. But you cannot, in that team, they don't put another person who looks like, or who plays just like him in midfield. Who's the other person who plays like him? He and Baba, their games are not similar. Zukubanza. Who is Zukubanza? Uh, Baba, uh, your friend. Say. Have you worked Baba in La Liga? Oh, my brother. I don't care about what he does at La Liga. I care about what you, he does with the Black But you side. have to. This man cannot because pass the ball he, No, because if when he's he playing can, well no, in no, La Liga, listen, hold on. If he's playing well in La Liga, and he can't play well in the National team, he comes to the Black star, it has nothing to do with him, though. Master, let me tell you, there are some basic attributes of every role in football. One of the fundamental attributes of a midfielder. Can you think about a midfielder who cannot kick the ball 60 yards? Have you seen so, some? Is, is it, that that the, is where I disagree. That, oh, and the, the issue is not... No, coach, hold on. But, but, Calm down. Is the it, issue is not that he can't kick the ball 60 yards. Because we have seen him do it for his club side. The issue is... This push more that, time you should have done last week. Look, you are making us spend ten, 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 ten minutes. Let, you have had, no one you to have talk about everything you want to talk. Next time, come. Oh, next, time come. No, see, next time, come. No, you see. Next time, come. Wait, wait. <laughs> next time, come. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, no he's even saying it's based on the assumption that not that every assumption. midfielder has to be capable of playmaking to a certain. You don't level. have no, to be. No, listen. Which, which is it wrong. is never an assumption. No, but it is an attribute. That is non-negotiable. No. If you call yourself a midfielder in the morning game, can you think about a midfielder who cannot? Pick the ball and spread the ball forward 60 40. Yards. You're a Man United fan. I'm not, I don't support United. You were United fan? Yes, I was. In, a, in an era where they feel they scored McTominay as a midfielder. Zuku Banza, no. I've criticized it all the time. <laughs> have you not been with me? <laughs> I have been used to Michael Carrick, Paul Scott, Darren Fletcher, Nicky Butt, Rocky, and Co. They can do short 5, 10, 15, 20, 60, 70, 80, 90 yards. Come, <laughs> <laughs> What are you talking about? What's that? Look, we talk about, we, we talk about the black stars not being able to create chances. That is one of them. Look, that is the main reason why we can't create chances. Because the two pivot, those two pivot players are only look. Did you you watch if you watch the friendlies, you would have seen I watched every you would have hold on, you would have seen players like forcing Amankwa being introduced. Oh, Masa. Young player, Masa. very good for Massa. Showed signs. That is why we will not qualify for the World Cup. Okay, no, Hala. Should we build a team good. around Mohamed? I Kudus? didn't say he's no good. I say that is why we will not qualify. Calling him is why we will not qualify. No, not, oh, no, not I didn't say that because of. No, is that because I am saying that we have good players? That's why we won't qualify. We won't because qualify I'm for lying the World to Cup. the people. You in June, you see what Mali will do to you. Beat you up good. There is this Otuado coach. Tactically, what did you see? Zero. You said Mali will beat us good. I'm, uh, eh. No, the podcast is being recorded. Look, mm, uh, this put, is your camera. Uh, your camera is over there. Yeah, you you, you can mm, uh, 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 target as the title of the program. Uh -huh. Coach Nimle predicts Ghana to lose against Mali in Babako in June. Put it. I'm telling you right now. You think they are joking? Eh? Uh, if you look at this Mali team, you think they are jokers? Sicho, what do you make of Jan's comments? Forget about Nimle. Sicho, he supports everything I've said. <laughs> 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 well, I had, my, I had my take on it last week, so... Uh, um, yes. Yeah, I, was, I spoke about the chance... He said we should build a team around uh, Mohamed Kodus. Yeah. I, I, I saw a bit of outrage from people. I, I My personal opinion is I, I don't think there's any lie there. Jan had, because every... And he mentioned it. He said there's been errors yeah. of the Black Stars. Yeah. He said there was the Appear era where Appear was the main the guy. Main guy yeah. He said then there was his era. There was an Abedi era, yeah. he mentioned it. Then there was even the Andre Ayu era, which obviously seems or oh, has, has never be an Andre era. Now he says it's the time As a for the Kudus era. Well, we, and and I, I, I don't get what the outrage is about. Well, I don't listen. There was even an Asian era where what Asia would do for his club in the national team, we put him in a space where he would be more, he would affect the games more. And we're blessed with Antonio at the, at the time, so yeah. he could get 
Antonio Nantes said. And because ACM was a good goal scorer, ACM wasn't a bad midfielder. He was a very good goal scorer if he allowed no, him to was. Him. And even when he played as a DM in Chelsea, he scored goals. So when he came to the Black Stars, we knew that we would, would need part of those goals. And in Africa 2008, we saw how important those goals would be. So if we even had an ACM era where he was playing in the biggest club, or was, if you like, performing at the highest level in the Black Star squad at the time, even though that squad was really black with talent, yeah. it was he, ACM, who was right up there playing in Chelsea and winning the big things. So we created an environment where ACM would walk into the team and be, even though it wasn't played in number 10, mm. even though it wasn't played in number 10, it was a free role player playing as a number he eight. He would, he would get into the box, he would come into the DM, mm. he, would, he would be everywhere for us. You know, so there was also been that. So I can understand what um, Asamajan is saying, especially when you are a team like Ghana where you don't have a system, you don't have a philosophy, you don't have a style where you're going to say, let's create a style that every player we call should be good enough to fit into the style so that it's not necessarily about a player. But when you think of these things, you are thinking about serious countries like maybe Mali. You're thinking mm. about countries. Because when you watch the way Mali plays, Bisuma wasn't a clear fit for them. So they could say, Bisuma, you're great. You play as Spurs. You are, you are arguably the most, the biggest exports at the moment. But because of the system we've created as a country with this group, you are not a good fit. So Bisuma can come off the bench. And, and Mali can do that because they've got that. Yeah. When you think of Spain, they've got great players playing for clubs that they can't bring them into the Spanish national team because they don't fit the style. But when you're a Ghanaian team and you don't have that, you are beginning to look at a national team going into competitions with the main aim of winning games. In doing so, you want your best players to be in the best places to decide games for you. And let's face it, in the last one year or so, some of our most decisive goals have come from Mohamed Kudus. True. So Actually, when, since he made his debut, he's got a stop spot. Right there. So, so when you look at, when you say building a team around Mohamed Kudus, I, I can agree with what Jan says. Until the point in time where Ghana has come of age, we've got a start, we've got a system where we now need to start thinking about players who fit rather than big names. At the moment, you might want to use your best. And I was at a World Cup before, before I was at a World Cup with the Black Stars. And I did... I had this take on the team when I was carrying the blacks and I said, Otuado needs to build the team around Mohamed Kudus. Because at the World Cup, he was the only one player that when he got on the ball, he could drive the team forward. But now, if you haven't been a team and you've got others who can, you can build a team for others to support him and get him into areas where he can be effective. I can understand what Jan says. I have a him. question. Uh, actually, I don't know if you can help me with this. What does Jan mean? Or what does it mean to say build a team around Play a certain team. player? That's what I was getting so to. So that's what Jan means. Yes. That we should play through him. So Obianya, but everybody gets the ball passed to him. Obianya, what? 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 Obianya, Simplify it, right? Yes. By looking at in the past, what have what has been the situation when we've had one outstanding player in the Black Stars or one player who's more productive than the average, right? Or the go-to guy. So, for example, the Jan era. The way the team played, you could not say we were playing for Asamoah Jan. No. He just stepped up. He just stepped up. He when just, he was needed. He just was the guy for the team. And it also helped because in that time, it was difficult to look at that team or those teams and say the other supporting cast needed to diminish their progress to essentially project Jan because there was too much quality for you to try to yeah so suppress. Even even the latest iteration of that, you're talking Christian Atu in his form. If you look at his CV, Rio Ave, FC Porto, Malaga, Newcastle, it may not have worked out at the latter stages, but in the context of the Black Stars. AFCON best player 2015, right? Kojo Asama. Before that, you had the Sule Muntari Michael Aysen. So that was not exactly possible. But in his situation, he was the guy. When Ghana needed goals, in those moments, he was the player. Do you think the concept of building a team around one player is outdated? It is because not. It's not? It is not. Because so I feel like the proper, the right, I feel like the, 
the more archetypical definition of that term would be, or illustration of that would be the Abed de Pele era. Well, because no, when, where, okay. the t- you, no, where everything went through him. Went so through him. Let, 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 so let, let, now, let, like let you just explained, even the Jan era, not Look, everything went through th- Jan. Think of, think of it this way. He's your, your shortest and your best route to go. No, I, that's I, the Kudu I, I want situation. To, I, want, I want to say that when you ask if that era is, is gone, when you think of teams that have gone on to win tournaments, this is my club side. Yes. It's a national team. Teams that have gone on to win tournaments in recent years. They've always had. They've always had a player. When Portugal won the Euros. It was Ronaldo. It was when Messi. When Argentina was won the World Cup. It was he Ronaldo. He living in the final. No, no but he, 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 he got the team, them there. Why? Did they then jump, the jump, the jump, the jump into the final? <laughs> no, if, 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 if you won the What I said is fact. If you won the final. But the final was what gave them the trophy. But he played in the final. He got the final. Even for Argentina. Even for Argentina, they won the World Cup, right? When you watch that tournament, did everything go to Messi? It's called the Messi. Everything went to Messi. Okay. 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 Some, the yeah, coach had to make both a tactical and personnel adjustment to the extent so that, that Messi would be good. Pre World Cup, Argentina's best centre forward was Lataro Lata Martinez. Martinez yes. So Cote but, d'Ivoire won the last half point. Yes. Everything yeah. went to who? Seb Hala when he was fit. So let me explain it. Until Seb Hala was uh, fit, uh-huh. Cote d'Ivoire, mm-hmm. they were not going as long as they started going. They were not crossing as much as they were crossing. But when Seb got fit and the Dingra came in, mm-hmm. their whole game plan wasn't through for Farah to run again. No, no. It was to spread the ball wide, the cross the ball. Yeah, Quick. The ball so we saw it. They and, had midfielders who could do what? Who could, could kick? Yes, yes. yes. Just That's to true. conclude yeah. on this matter. And in 2019, when Algeria won it, Oh, oh that, was, that was that was, was Maris. You, you can't say Maris. I was, Maris, was probably yeah, a better yeah, player yeah, than yeah, Maris in that. There is the other side of it, and I think that may not be as profound as having to go through one guy. If you look through the French team that won the World Cup, yeah, you could not say it was 2018. a one-man team. Yeah, but far from least, it. But at each stage or each phase of their build-up, you could see one distinct figure. Yeah, Pogba. Defense, yeah. midfield, Pogba. Attack. Don't be silly. Ah, but but that was the you case. Your walk-up. So, so you would have really? your walk-up. Really? 2018. Ah, you would have Pogba your walk-up was career. good, but he was not the main guy. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Why? Don't go there. 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 Who did not ah, score a single goal? Didn't even have a shot on target. Yes. Was more critical to their victory okay. than players like Pogba. Okay, what so let's ah, friends, let me it's see. an argument. Friends. Everybody can have it. Masa, it's not an argument. Don't do that. Friends, what is the argument? You see, see players are going to It's not the same as club football. I make a big save. It is, it ah. is determined in moments. Mm. Of, <laughs> and on perhaps a larger scale than club football. That is why coaches would, would appreciate players who can help the chemistry of the team. But if there is a player who can fast track that process of getting the goal, and you see, international football, it is allowed to be short tennis. There, in fact, international football rewards pragmatism more than even being. Yeah, that's, that's I think you guys are confusing <coughs> no, who exactly. is the better player than. Uh, no, you're confusing that way, building a team around a single player. Because all the examples that you gave, I don't think, look, I completely disagree that those teams were built around. You disagree that Portugal was built around Ronaldo mm-hmm. in 2016? Then, look, look, no, hold on. In the Portugal example, no. The Portugal example, no. Argentina was built no, 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 around no. Messi? No, no, no. You disagree no, that. Uh, I disagree with France. I, I disagree with Cote d'Ivoire. France, we've not, not said the team was built around anybody. You just shot him, Pogba. You're no, not listening. No, he said Pogba was instrumental. Oh, but you oh, see? You see? But no, 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 no. Until Seb Haller got fit. No, 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 no. The team was not built around Seb Halle. I'm not. Fence, how can you fence. tell me that he was built around Seb Halle? Fence, fence. It fence. wasn't. No, fence. It's unfortunate that he didn't start the competition. And we saw the difference when he didn't start. When he was fit, everything they did went through him. Or and when, when he wasn't him. fit, it went through another person. No, it was not but, successful. But the degree so of he didn't win. Didn't, it wasn't successful. How did they get to where they were? They were lucky. Are you know, why are you asking fence. this question? Fence. They won only one game in the group stage. They're not lucky because Ghana's out. In that sense, then every football game, somebody's like, no, no, fence. Calm down. Calm down. They have to put themselves in that situation. For argument's sake, they didn't reach a knockout stage because they were good. They didn't reach a knockout stage because they were good. Because somebody else was going to be so much. Yes. Look, let's stay on course. This whole matter, the... Katongo, Katongo yes. staff, Katongo staff. Katongo. He's a little bit. He's a little bit more passage. No, you see, I know, you don't want to get to me. I'm not saying there is a key man. Yeah. But it's is that the example. same as Building that the team. team was built around the person? How do you identify, These are two different how do you, how do you identify a key man? Kudos was our key man at this AFCON. Was the team built around him? 
No, no he was. So that's the point I'm making. You are not getting me. No, we've established that. What is important here is that you're going to have two scenarios. In the attempt to build a team, before you arrive at the stage where you can say, we have built a team, and this is the guy the team has been built around. Yes. Before you get to that point, there is going to be that water carrier for the team. In this moment, it is Mohamed Kudus. Yes. What I think can happen is that, and Otuado knows he doesn't have time. Kudus, whatever the goal scoring formula is, the answer is Mohamed Kudus. Simple. He finishes better. The instincts are better. Technically. He is. He has more quality than everyone in that team. So I, it is not a question that we should have. The only issue for me is that Mohamed Kudus in for a period. If you are looking for someone to build a team around, it has to be someone who is a playmaker, especially for those players who occupy those advanced positions. So, in the in the sense of think of the old fashioned mama ten. That is the next phase of development I would want to see with Mohamed Kudus because when I watch him, there are instances where, as the bigger man in the team, there are moments where he needs to show that by not being the star boy, so release the ball if someone is in a better position. But there are situations where Kudus trusts himself more. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, except that Mohamed Kudus does that because he's not capable of seeing that space when he opens up, right? He's not capable of understanding when to release the ball and when to hold on to the ball. If the team needs that player to thread that pass, so for example, that's Steven Apia. So, and in the context of the Black Stars, Steven Apia will be the perfect example for that midfielder. But does he have to be a playmaker if he's not? No, I'm saying that for his personal development, that's the next stage that Kudus has Why? to get to. I have to in, in terms of adding value to his, his own game. He, he, right? Can't he just be a devastating goal scorer? Oh, he can be. I'm just saying that for him, as far as the next level of his growth, that's okay. one thing I would want to see Okay. I, I want to ask a question, yeah. uh, Daniel. <coughs> we already established that Mohamed Kudus is the key man for the Black Stars. He was, certainly, at the last half. Yeah. In fact, ever since he's made his debut, Th- the numbers don't lie. There's one thing that I wanted to add, and I think maybe Danny can expand on that. The most important factor on that is availability and setting the standard. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the fact that Kudus did not show up for Otuado's first week. And the guy is injured. Why should he come? I mean, I'm, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying that I didn't like the fact that... You didn't like the fact that the player was injured you know, and he couldn't join the camp. He's saying that he would have he would have liked that. For him he to be made. there. Even, even with his injury. No, no I'm just saying no. that he should have come. He would have liked that he wasn't injured and was available. No, yes. so you can say, so say, say he was unlucky. But I'm just injured. rephrasing but for him. No, no, like, no, let's no, 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 no. no. <laughs> what do you mean you didn't like it? It's choice of words. It's on words. No, the way he says it. The way he says it is like Kudu deliberately. Yeah, that's why, yes. Okay. Unless you really want to say that. No, maybe that's what you want to say. I'll report myself to the police before I can be because of <laughs> the question, the question I really want to ask Daniel, and it is based on what I have, and it's based on the point I've been making that they can be a key player it doesn't mean the team is built around him. Mohamed Kudus was has been Ghana's key player in the better part of the last two years, ever since he made his debut. To be fair, and he showed that at the AFCON, without a doubt, he was our key player. How different would he play? How much more important will he be? If we build a team around him compared to what he's already doing, like how 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 is that any different? For me, honestly, the the John statement that is on way for me because we have serious problems. Yes, and the problems are for me is 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 beyond the individual players because, but for Kudus, in fact, if you take Kudus out of the, the equation, okay. Mm. <laughs> All the other boys in the national team that. Yeah. are pretty impressive at their club sites. Yes. Yet when they come, so some way. So if you say build a team around around Kudus, like for me, since Kudus made his debut, it's literally every, been the yeah, guy. every that's that's what it's been. It's been Kudus. When Kudus gets the ball, it's magic. When Kudus gets the ball, something no, happens. So that is what, that is where I think John's statement for me comes in. Even though he's been our best player since he gone to the scene. There's not been a. We've not necessarily maximized him because we've played him as a number eight. We've played him as if it's in the Black Stars. We've played him in positions he won't excel. No, you see, so and when you build a team around a player, you're putting the player in the most comfortable place, and even picking players who complement that player. And that, that contradicts that's, what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was saying, doesn't it? Because Achu is trying to say that, yeah. or was trying to say that, to be 
the guy that a team is built around, yeah. he has to be that, That's why I said he doesn't have to be a playmaker. He yes. doesn't necessarily have to be a playmaker. Yes. But, no, but, see, no, but he but, didn't say that. No, this is my for point. his growth, for his for personal his growth. growth. No, let me see a let more me, of that. Let me, let me, let me, let me sort of flag. And I'll use, I'll use a guy in Bill Will's situation as an example. That the entire Will system was built around guys. Yes, yes. Now, what happened was you had players who were performing in certain rules to bring the best out, out of Bill. Of Garrett, fantastic. That's the problem we have. And that's what I'm trying to see. Yes. The Black Stars players, when they come, they are all struggling to perform their duties. Most of them are not good. That's not it. No. Most of them show us why they should end call-ups. If you watch La Liga and you watch Baba, you know that Baba is good enough to end a call up. Yes. Yet when he, when he comes, comes some way, somehow, play. it's not working. He can't pass the ball. Salis is doing Zuma. really good at Lance. When he comes to Black Stars, it's ah. not working. Even Semenyo, when he comes to Black Stars, Nyama, when he comes for play, yeah. no, as Inaki. for Semenyo, all these guys, just, when just they come in, as for Semenyo, we we are on, we are we are still undecided where to play him. That's, same, what, that's the same point. Same as for Salis yeah. and Baba. Good. It is their real position think, they are playing. Play I think we've played him everywhere. That's and what I'm saying. Result, but for Salis and Baba, it is their true we are still position. Not my, my, my problem, that's the and, and that's where my problem is. Because if you had if you had players who at least were following instruction, we could clearly see that they are performing what they are, or they are doing what they are being asked to do to the best of their ability, yet things are not working. But we are seeing the opposite. They can't do simple things. And it's a, it's a black star, but it's been a black star for at least for the last four years. But some way, somehow, when Kudus picks up the ball, there's magic. If it was the case where the guys were doing well, then you can say, okay, fine. You guys are doing well, but I'll do this particular thing to get the best out of Kudus. Then we could say, that, okay, fine. John statement sort of makes sense. But at this point in time, I think the entire team, we need to find a system that suits this team. Everybody. Actually, everybody, get everybody getting, playing their best football. Their At the moment, nobody's playing their best football. Can we find a system what? that suits the entire team? Look, Considering, as I said the last time, look, all of them are coming from different backgrounds of upbringing getting football philosophy. Look, I think, yes, but there are similarities. Again, it's national team. There are similarities in there. Yes, look, that is why it might not have to be a system that works, but it's, it's, it's just... It has to be a system a that works. No, it might not be a system. You, 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 you can it actually to create a system that works when you find majority. Look, there are majority of players who are coming from a certain thing, and there are similarities. Mm. So what I'm saying is that because of the similarities, you can find the common ground and build a system around that, around that, uh, that philosophy or whatever you want to create. But I don't subscribe, especially in modern-day football, to that build a team around. When you're talking about the, the traditional context of that freeze, when you go back to the Abedi Pele days, the Zinedine Zidane days, where literally tactical systems were built around one player. So we are doing this, 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 to get the ball to him, for him to do his magic. Similar to what Argentina did. Because if Messi got injured, they were done. If Kudus is injured, what are we going to do? Mm. But you want to be able to thrive even when the player is not available. Mm. So for me... No, I don't subscribe to that. We That's can't it. build a team around Kudus. We need Kudus to can remain a key player. He can, he has especially a when he's available, yes. obviously. So, you so, can you're saying, so you're saying that if Kudus is there, we build a team around him. Mm -hmm. And Kudus is not available. The team can't find a way to play and still be useful. Let me, let, quick example. Okay. AVB with Tottenham Hotspur. The entire setup was built around Gareth Bale. Mm -hmm. The season guy Bill left. Look at the transfer activity. They, they tried as much as possible to get somebody similar to Bill. They went to buy Lamela. They went to buy Andros Townsend just to get somebody close to Bill so they come, come, and to come and carry the team. It was impossible. Manchester City system is not built around De Bruyne. But when you put De Bruyne in there, he gives, you a, he gives a thank you. Yeah. Increased volume of things that somebody else will not True. give. But at least there's a certain quota. If it's 50 chances that City want to create, Bernardo can create 50. Gundogan could create 50. Is that not coaching though? Because the entire Spurs team yes. though, game was built around Harry Kane. Mm -hmm. He's left. They are not missing him necessarily because they are still playing well. Mm -hmm. Because it's another coach who's come to use virtually some of the same players who were there, done few tweaks yeah. and has yeah. got the team playing well. So, if mm -hmm. there was Harry Kane in that team, I guarantee you he plays differently. But, look at so the Harry Kane. Look at the, the season Spurs went to the Champions League final. Okay. Yeah. So in the league, they were struggling without Kane. Yes. Yet in the Champions League, Poch was able to... In fact, even in the Champions League, they were struggling. It yes. was a look well, as they should have made the yeah. final. But we could clearly see the absence of Kane because this was a team that was struggling to find their feet around him. That is not the case for teams who have built their system but that's, and that's, have players who can... Who can 
I wouldn't say it was a team that was built around him. He it was, was simply their best player. No, he was built yeah, around him. You see, Haiku. there is a certain quality that unless you have someone of a similar level in that team, no matter what you do, even if the team is not built around those players, when they leave, there is a golf in, yeah. in class. And, and that, that example would yeah, be... That see, is the, the problem in 2016. Yeah. The that, team was built about, around Ronaldo. We you know see, that. You see, but Ronaldo got injured in 20 minutes into the, into the game. And Portugal had to regroup and bring a different player who play completely different. Danis, Danis the coaching is that, so that the coach could still find them to play away that's of France. You see, Danny's yeah. concerns are valid because in this moment, we have a problem of actual performance and personalities. And it is... And that is the bigger issue, not the fact that we, we will suffer if the mm-hmm. is not available. If you build it tomorrow, now I'm far. Between 2000, so I'm far. <laughs> yes, ask yourself, between 2007 and 2009, how often was Michael Issyan available? Very rarely. How often was Steve Napier available? But we hardly missed them. Yeah. Look, when we talk about how we did not win the Afghan in 2008, very few people mention Steve Napier. But it is because of that decision to. Send Michael Asian to the back in that game against yeah. Cameroon. Yeah. It was because of that decision but not Sons to go to the Afghan with an extra centre back. Right? Mm-hmm. But oh, we did. He we just was on the bench. Because he didn't trust he was the injured. He was injured and yeah. on the bench the whole time. To play. Right. The injuries Michael Asian had, but for Anthony Annan, we could have suffered. Right? Yeah. Even when it was time for. And this part, even, I think, is a bit more profound because by that time, if you look at the Suleiman Tari facing away, by that time, Ghana did not have Steve Napia, we did not have Michael Asian, we did not have Likens, and we did, now we did not have Sudan Mutari. But in that midfield, all you had was Adima Mbubu. All you had was Anthony Annan from the, the previous generation. But you had characters who, beyond their name and the reputation they had, actually had the credibility of the performance, relevance performances of the time. So you had Adima <laughs> then, Asian had come in at that time. Kudra Samoa was putting in, he had that Mali game on the back of it. If you look through this biggest black... unsung hero of that metro was actually Rabiu. Yes. If you look through this black star team, the problem is that we don't have that now. So, so, so even if you decide not to build around Mohamed Kudus and go with this, uh, this hand to mouth coaching we've done, we've done in a long time, when Kudus is not present, you see how ordinary this thing is. That's the point Daniel is making. And the more you people talk, the more it's circling back to the point I'm making that I actually genuinely think that the whole concept of building teams around individuals, that concept so, so, died a few years ago. Maybe uh, Messi with Argentina and someone with Ronaldo. Anybody has these two players? Sure. Sure. But other than that, I don't even think right now that the current generation of players that we have, if you take out Messi and Ronaldo, I don't even think the other players that we have right now, no matter how good they are, anybody has built team around any one of them, any single one of them. Is I, I France not built Let me have my take around. now. France is built around kid. Let me have my take. Ah, but you don't, you don't watch their games or what? Let me have oh, my wow. take. Ah, Kylian Mbappe can stand there and not run. They can tell him to you stand there, conserve energy because we'll bring the ball so, to so you. Like, our, our, so, okay. out ball. When everybody gets the ball, they are looking for Kylian Mbappe. That's not true. It is that's true. Not, that's not true. It is true. Ah, you know what? You know what? Basically, that is not true. That is not true. Not, that is not true. 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 That is not but no, not only everybody in the final ten. Wait, wait. Only, only when the boss comes to you. No, only when the so, boss comes so, to win the so, final ten. So, 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 when they've played and they've, they've set up to tweet Kylian Mbappe. It's the same thing. They no. don't look you to crowd opponents' boxes. They don't look you to crowd them in their half. Look at what you did to Saidat. Are you saying that PSG couldn't have dominated possession against Saidat? No, they could have. But they were careful in keeping the ball in their own half and getting their space he, in behind the scenes. It's that simple. And coach, there's no shame coach, in it. Coach. There's no shame in it. But no, no I'm not saying that it's a shame. It. I just feel like it, I'm just saying that I think the concept in itself yes. it's outdated. No, coach. is he... Is he I agree, but I don't agree entirely with what Jan said. And these are my reasons. It is better to have a system 
and get the player to flourish in the system mm -hmm. than to say it is all about this player. Especially when the team is undergoing transition. Yeah. You cannot say it should be about this player during a transitional phase. Let me ask a question. Is that what building the team around the player is? means? I'm because coming. When Messi was at Barca, he has, the team was built around to the extent that he brought it on the bench no, to see, play the first nine so that he can thrive. I'm, yes, I'm but coming. It didn't mean that the systems were not working. The system, I'm coming. The I'm working. coming. So, but so, Messi, Messi, so Messi was. It, it was a system that yeah. brought the best out of him. Yeah. That was why, even in games where Leo were not played or did not play or could not play because of injury, Neymar and Suarez and Kout could step in and then they would still deliver. Yeah. That was a system play. In the, then that wasn't transitional. This is something that has gone on from the academy. So the boys understood. So oh, okay. if we take bigger, somebody yeah. out, we all we know <clears> how <throat> we are. So, work, yeah. Exactly. But in our case, we are going through transition. Mm. And especially when we have a coach who stay, doesn't understand what he's going to do, who he's going to pick, how he cannot trust on the output of even the players he's going to put on the pitch. You don't then tell those players, we are playing to, to bring the best out of this man. No. <laughs> what we should be thinking about doing to get the black stars to get to the next level is to work on department and get the team to flourish as a unit. If you can get every department to do their job well, you can easily get them to coordinate holistically as a unit. And once you do that, it is tactically proven that not your, only your key player, but every player will begin to flow. And that main man may, be, may always be the headline of the day because we are bringing the best out of everybody. And therefore, when it gets to him, the workload ahead of him to get the job cemented will be less. Now, if you look at the way France goes about them, it's like the team is built around Mbappe, but it is, like it is not built around him. Mm -hmm. If you look at that French team, every player is doing what he's supposed to do. And they know that to their strength, they want to isolate their best player always on the 1v1 situation. Yes. And the moment they get the ball, you watch them, they, they don't just get back to him, back to him. They wait for the moment. Yeah. And the moment defines the tactical ploy on how to go and punish the opponent. Mm -hmm. And therefore, anytime Mbappe is isolated and Papa picks the ball, again, they have, they have proper midfielders. That's right. Who can either go to him up straight, directly to feet, or bam, into space. Because yeah. they know as one of his very blistering attributes is his speed. Yeah. In our case, we cannot do that. Because even the young man, like Achu said, is still, in my view, undergoing some form of development. There are some aspect of his game that needs to get better. Yeah. So that's an interesting point. Yeah. You understand? Is he, is he there yet for, for us to, to even build it? No, he's not that's there yet. Another, yeah, that's another question. To, that's, that, is, that's, so, that is a very interesting he, take. Yeah. He's not there yet. Because, but look. See, uh, the, the other issue here is this. And I think that is where the coach's hand may be forced. Not by Jan. Not by the FA but the reality of the situation. Real game scenario. Take away Jordan, who sometimes 